South Florida's music scene has blossomed over the last few years, and one clue to the maturing of the music industry here is the arrival of NARIS. NARIS stands for National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences, the people who bring us the Grammy Awards. With us now is Max Borges, the executive director of the Florida branch of NARIS, and Tom Dowd, a Miami resident, a director of NARIS, and one of the most famous engineer producers in the music industry. Let's take a look at uh, Tom's remarkable career. After World War II, Tom Dowd, a young nuclear technician with the Manhattan Project, turned his attention from atomic bombs to something that combined his love of technology with his love of music. He became the recording engineer for a fledgling record company that released recordings of black rhythm and blues and jazz performers. That company was Atlantic Records. In the late 50s, Tom latched on to developing technology that allowed recording with up to eight separate music tracks. Separate tracks allowed Tom to pioneer a dynamic new sound. At about the same time, Atlantic's talent roster started crossing over into the mainstream with legends like Ray Charles. Tom's eight-track captured hits from the coasters. Benny King. The Drifters. And later, Aretha Franklin. White mainstream acts were not long behind. And in the 60s, Tom recorded some of the greatest anthems of the time. Children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Still later, British rock groups, inspired by the sound that Tom had created with Atlantic's R&B artists, came to the U.S. to be recorded by him. They were hoping to catch some of his magic. The first was Cream, leading to a professional relationship with Eric Clapton that continues to this day. Then there was Led Zeppelin. And the Rolling Stones. It's easy to do. Others were the Rascals, Sam the Sham and Rod Stewart. Today, Tom calls Miami home. And as always, he continues to search for that young talent that will put him back on top of the charts. <laughs> We're back now with Tom Dowd and Max Borges. Welcome to the show, both of you. Thank you. Boy, what a life and career you've had, huh? I've survived. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any idea how many recordings you've actually done? No, I, I couldn't count them. It's a it's lengthy process, but no. It, it takes 47 pages to list them all. That's amazing. So. The only ones that people brag about are the ones that were popular, but I had, had a lot more flops than I had hits, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> well, the ratio can't be too bad, I'll tell you. Um, what actually brought you to South Florida, both of you as, as, as uh, pillars of the music community? What do we have to offer here? Uh, actually, I was based out of New York, but I was traveling to Memphis and Muscle Shoals and Macon, Georgia so many times. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the M's. I had a 5M stop. Manhattan, Macon, Muscle Shoals, Miami. Okay. <laughs> and and that, you know, that was it. If you wanted to find me, dial M. Uh -huh. That was it. So, so this just became your home base now? Uh, the climate and the environment, the, the fact that it was growing and there's a cross-culture going on here, right. much healthier environment. How do you describe the sound of, of Miami? What is it? We don't have a definitive sound yet. It's still shaping because we're integrating uh, the great Latin influence with the traditional black blues that's part of South Florida, with the country and the Indian music that's Florida, mm -hmm. and the Caribbean nations. All that, that whole Caribbean basin, the reggae, the ska, it's all coming together and the young people are starting to musically incorporate each other's mm -hmm. flair for for communication, but it hasn't, we haven't developed it yet, not a definitive one yet. Um, Max, the arrival of Neris here, what does that mean for people in the music industry? Well, Neris came here because they saw, we saw the, the incredible amount of music industry that was already growing here and, and everything that was going on, so we saw a great opportunity for us to come in and do what Neris chapters and branches do, and that's unite the music community. Normally, uh, people in the music business don't have a way to get together and to learn and to network. And so through different educational workshops we do and different events that we do throughout the year, we bring the professional music industry together and help nourish that industry and, and stimulate it. And you actually teach some of those workshops, right, Tom? 
Well, there are four or five of us on the board that have varied talents, and we one would be on songwriting, one would be on uh, doing recording sessions, right. one is on engineering, one is on musicianship, contract, business, so forth and so on. Do you think this is a viable place for, for young musicians? Can, can they get a good start here? Absolutely. Oh, you've got some wonderful educational facilities down here. The school system is very sensitive to it. Tell me about the talent. How, how impressive is our talent base here? Well, there's all types of different young bands that have come out of Miami. And it's not just Latin music, though. Many mm -hmm. Latin bands go on to get record deals and make it. So have country bands like the Mavericks and, uh, and heavy rock bands like Marilyn Manson and things like that. So there's all different types of music. Um, unfortunately, it only seems like the Latin music is the one that gets the credit for coming from Miami. But mm -hmm. there's a, all types of music that come from Miami. I think uh, one of the hottest parties uh, going on of the year is a party that's going on next week. It's a fundraiser for Neris, Correct. right? Why don't, it, you, why don't you tell me about that? It, it's a tribute to Tom Dowd, and we're holding it at the home of Julio Iglesias. And mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately for the viewers, it's sold out now, but it's going to be a, an incredible evening. And uh, there's a lot of surprises in store for Tom, mm -hmm. but uh, it's just going to be one of those nights where the entire music industry really comes together to salute a really wonderful person. And you're going to have some of your old friends there, and, and oh yes, oh yeah. yes. I, I, Who's coming? Give me a give me a list. Well, some uh, the ones that <laughs> I know about that they they have been trying to secrete from me. I know the brothers Gibb, the Bee Gees will be there. Mm -hmm. I know Sam Moore will be there. Uh, I think. Uh, oh, I know Menudo and KC will be there. Uh -huh. uh, probably Steve Cropper and Duck Dunn. That's half a Booker T in the MGs. And it goes on. It, it gets dense. And some, <laughs> of the, some of the Almond brothers will be there as well. Oh, well, um, have, a, have a wonderful time. Um, and I thank you both for coming on. And I'm going to have to invite you on uh, again another time just to talk old stories. I want to hear some of those old stories, too. I bet you're full of those, right? <laughs> thank you very much, both of you. For a pleasure. Here. Thank you. And that is our program for this week. Uh, thanks for joining us. And we'll see you again next time on Montage. As you stand, stand by.